At Town Hall 14, there is a wide variety of strategies that you can choose from. So, I wanted to bring you three of the best Town Hall 14 attack strategies that you can use on pretty much any base for three stars. So let's start with our first army, which is the Queen Charge Dragon Riders. If you don't want to use Lava Loon and you have Dragon Riders maxed out, you might as well use the Queen Charge Dragon Riders. This strategy works pretty well on a wide variety of different kinds of bases, so you'll mainly want to make sure that you are looking at using this in different parts. First, starting with the Queen Charge and the Flame Flame. Your, the main idea is to remove a large section off of the base before you send in your Dragon Riders. So the Queen Charge is going in for the Clan Castle, the enemy Archer Queen or enemy Royal Champion, and then using the Queen Charge to also create Funnel. The Flame Flinger, on the other hand, that main goal is to remove as many structures as possible to clear out and establish one side of the funnel. This is one huge funnel that you're making. So basically you'll wanna rage up your queen as you're going into a lot of heavy defenses, but of course use a poison spell in order to help deal with the enemy clan castle. Otherwise you just really wanna make sure that, you wanna make sure that you are establishing the funnel as you work yourself in and you want to make sure that you're able to get a nice amount of value with the queen charge and the flame flinger as much as possible using free spells to freeze up defenses and of course raging up the queen so she can deal with the town hall and other defenses is what's going to help you get a three star more often than not so in theory you should have a decent chunk of the base out of the way this means that you have the Barbarian King clearing trash buildings and also the Royal Champion going in for more multiple structures. This now allows you to send in the Dragon Riders with Balloons and the Grand Warden into the base. If, you, if your Archer Queen dies for any reason, you could always use the spells for other things. The Royal Champion could use the Invisibility spells meant for your Archer Queen. You can also use the Rage spell and Grand Warden ability with your Dragon Riders to move through. The Grand Warden ability is really nice for the Dragon Riders as they're able to continuously move in. And Headhunters are really nice underneath that to deal with the final enemy hero. Alongside the Rage spell being pairing really nicely with Dragon Riders since they're going to do a massive amount of damage and they only go for defenses, so it's really nice. Otherwise, the Invisibility spells are really good to help the Dragon Riders and Balloons stay, per stay hidden away from air targeting structures making it much more likely, especially Dragon Riders, to remove them. So just keep that in mind, but you also want to make sure that you bring in some cleanup troops, so I would recommend minions if possible, or archers, so that way you can get a more consistent 3-star with this strategy. For our second army, we want a simple yet powerful ground strategy, and that is none other than the Super Bowler Smash. It works really well on a wide variety of bases. So, for starters, you'll want to start off by creating the funnel on two different sides. One side is done by the Flame Flinger and the other side is done by the Warden Walk. So when you're using the Flame Flinger, make sure that you are protecting it. Stuff such as the Ice Golem and Witches can provide some very nice protection against things like Mortars and Expos. Any mode on the Expo is dangerous to the Flame Flinger, so be very careful of that. You'll also want to make sure that you're, what you're doing is allowing yourself to create a funnel. So use any smaller troops like Wizards or Archers behind the Flame Flinger to remove trash buildings that it may miss. Otherwise, you will want to protect the Flame Flinger by either using Freeze and Skeleton Spells if you, if you would like, and that can actually help you distract enough for the Flame Flinger to remove those said defenses. The Warden Walk can be done by clearing out a small part of the base. You can use a Rage Spell as well to speed up the warden and clear through a multi inferno before you send your super bowlers in now from here you can send in your super bowlers into the base thanks to the flame flinger and the warden while crane the funnel on two sides you'll want to make sure that what you're doing is using a rage spell early on a jump spell alongside the use of the grand warren ability and then of course using another rage in the core there's just something about rage spells and super bowlers that just gets insane value You'll want to use another jump spell to get to the back end, and this can help connect your super bowlers a lot better. 
Now, of course, you also have your Royal Champion, and that's going to be used a little bit later on the back end. But the idea is very simple. You are basically funneling and then pretty much charging your way in through the base with the Super Bowlers. And it doesn't matter if there are multis or singles. It's absolutely ridiculous to, because Super Bowlers are insanely strong here. And the Royal Champion will have enough once you save it, save her for the back end. And having any spells left over like the free spells can help her or you can use them on the Super Bowlers to help get through my, many more defenses. And that is just really the way to think about this as you can easily get a three star with the Super Bowler Smash. Now, arguably the best strategy at Talon 14 has to be the Blizzard Lalo. It's super flexible on any base and it just gets three stars very nicely. So basically, you're gonna start with the Blizzard. You're gonna use a couple balloons, a Lava Hound, more importantly, and the Battle Blimp. Be very careful if the CC is an Electro Titan. You'll need to make sure that you're moving that out as much as you can. Otherwise, pop the blimp once it gets to its destination, invisibility, and time those every 4 seconds while also placing in that rage spell. You mainly want to go in for the town hall and any air targeting structures. This can include enemy heroes as well, but you'll mainly want to make sure that you're just trying to get rid of as many air targeting structures and creating a really nice funnel. This can be really good against ring bases, or it can be really good against bases that are more anti-threes. So it's a very flexible part to this, to where you can almost hit any kind of base, so you're ready to send in your hero dive. So with the hero dive moving in, you mainly want to try and remove as many structures as possible. Bringing in the use of free spells to help deal with stuff such as the single target infernos, can be a big help to this, as what you're able to do is clear a lot of structures off of the base. The idea is that you want to make sure that you're creating pathing, so when you send the Lava Loon in, it's even better. Keep in mind as well is that you want to make sure that you're going in for one of the two heroes, whether that is the Queen or the Royal Champion. Sometimes the Queen might have already been taken down, and that just leaves the Royal Champion, which you could get rid of with the Headhunters with the Lava Loon. Now, of course, once your Hero Dive kind of sets up that funneling for the Lava Loon, send it in. Use a Lava Hound and a couple groups of Balloons alongside then doing the same thing as you work yourself across. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can really spam them all in if you want as well, but you can also send the Royal Champion in with your main army. Bring in the use of the free spells to freeze up the eagle and other structures is really nice, even stuff like multi or single infernos. As you move through, you should use a Grand Warren ability alongside headhunters to help deal with enemy heroes. Use haste spells to get to key defenses like wizard tower scatters, multi infernos, air defenses. That's what's going to help you move through and get the three star. Keep in mind as well is that I would always heavily recommend bringing in the minions after a certain point so you don't get a time fail. This is an incredibly strong strategy and can get you three stars very consistent. Now, each of these strategies have something a bit unique to them, but of course, I really couldn't make this video without Super Bowler Smash and Blizzard Lalo. So what other attack strategies are you a fan of at Town Hall 14? And what other strategies would you like to see me cover at Town Hall 14 in future videos?